hello everyone and welcome again in a video tutorial today I'm going to show you how we can make a bootable USB for Ubuntu system so that you can install it in your virtual box or you can install it in your computer so first of all you will need to go to your browser and type in Google Kali Linux to access to the official page I already managed to do it and you just press here and you click open in a new link and as soon as it open here you can you can choose which one to use so you can for example install Kali Linux 64 you need first actually to check what is your system so as always you go to your search tab you click you type run and here you type dxdiag just to choose which system which type of bit is are your system using a small window will pop up after a certain time and as you can see here, operating system, my computer is a 64-bit, so I will be using a 64-bit to not have any problems. So I already managed to download an ISO file with 64-bit, but if it's your computer, it's 32, so I suggest to you to install 32 to not have any problems. Here you have the light version and E17, Mint 1, the version of Mint, Kali Linux Mint, and you have another version. So choose the one which you would like and just download it as an ISO file and you go to your download file and you will have the program here. I managed already to download a lot of it. And also in the, the, in the link below, the, in the description, there is a link below. So you need to click on it to install this little small problem which is called the Universal USB Installer. It's for making a bootable USB. As soon as you get it, you download it, you just click on it twice and you plug in your USB in your computer you click I agree and here you need to select which version are you going to install so we are going to install Kali Linux so we need to look for Kali and there we go Kali Linux and here you select the ISO file which you are looking for so here we're gonna choose Kali Linux which I already managed to do you can select I, I actually download the two version and here you select your USB and you select format and you click create here the system will explain to you again that he's going to, to format your USB to create a Linux copy to rename the USB and to install Kali Linux you just press yes and you let him manage and this operation might take few seconds up to few minutes however it will not take more than 10 minutes I'm gonna stop the video until it finished so that you don't get bored guys and as you can see guys we are almost done with the installation of this uh, with the installation of the system and we are almost actually done with making the bootable USB for this system it might take just a few seconds left actually it took from me almost three minutes so it looks like another minute left before it it's it goes to an end and as you can see guys it took in total six minutes to finish this process and the editing files should not take more than one minute or a little bit less actually and we are almost done so as soon as this application will finish we will just close it and go to check if our USB is ready so we are almost done there we go so as you can see installation is the installation done process is complete and it was a long way to do it actually there is no error so we're gonna just close it and we'll just go to our computer click on it and check this is our USB where we where we installed the where we uh, the USB which we made actually votable so we're gonna just click on it and we're gonna just click on setup it shouldn't work because this is the latest version of Windows installed in my computer but as soon as I restart my computer and I, I decide to boot to boot from the USB it should be working so don't be surprised if you see my computer now it doesn't work because that's the normal standard with Windows 10 so we're gonna choose English as you can see your computer capable of running
So here it says that 64-bit operating system, however the system version you are trying to install is designed to run on older 32-bit. You might well still proceed with the install, but in order to take the most advantage of your computer, we recommend that you, you use the 64-bit version instead of the multi-arc version, which was... So basically here it's just saying that I should have to 64-bit, which is compatible with my computer, rather than choosing 32-bit so that I can use perfectly my computer. So basically it is working and you still can try it, you can install a virtual box to try this system and this way of making bootable USB to check if it's working or not before installing it in your own computer or you can just trust this way and go and install straight away. I hope guys this video was very useful to you. If you would like, you can share this, this video with your friend. You can also click like and subscribe in our channel to receive the latest of our video. If you have any question or if you need any advice or support, you can always contact us via email, via Facebook or Twitter. Or you can just put the hashtag question and put in front of it your question and we will reply to you. Thanks for watching and see you in a new video tutorial.